Good morning, guys. We are en route to the start line of Fat Dog 120. I've got my crew, Dad, driving me out. Starts at 10 a.m., so we're gonna be a bit early. But it's just stunning here in the drive. Really grateful to be here. Excited to be starting. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be fun. Three, two, one, and go! Hey guys, about two hours, 10 minutes in, feeling great. Kathleen and I are trekking up this big climb, but feeling awesome. Excited to get to the cathedral, see the views. Um, spirits are high, not Go suffering in yet. <laughs> Woo! Well, we just hit the first aid station. Refilled my waters, including my bladder. Um, didn't want to risk being without water for a long period because it's hot. Um, got some fuel, still feeling good. And we're climbing into some gorgeous views right now. Just unreal. Guys, this is just incredible. Such a beautiful area. So grateful to be here. Let's get it. This is absolutely insane. We're just on top of the world. 170 runners ready to take on the world. And I love this race so far. Super, super stoked to be here. I'm just so grateful. What an experience. Just over four hours in and in this beautiful, stunning area, descending to Ashmola. What a place. I'm loving it. Just climbing to Trapper and there's wolves howling. I don't know if you can hear, but it's really cool. Almost six hours in, Alan and I are on this amazing climb. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> Yeah, the wolves are cheering us on, or maybe hunting us. What's up guys? We are just under eight hours in, feeling a little tired, um, but look at that, just gorgeous lake appeared out of nowhere. Really nice. <clears throat> I'd love to go for a swim right now, but I think I'll just keep moving. I've been drinking lots, eating lots, definitely starting to feel a bit tired, but Keep it moving, get to calcite. I might lie down there, um, just stretch out a little bit, <clears throat> and then get to Bonnevere to gear up for the overnight section. Catch you later. This is just unreal. Like, holy cow. I'm loving it out here. Feeling decent, just trucking along gonna be at calcite eventually. I'm excited to get some like cold water hopefully. Catch you later. Who's gonna carry the boats? They don't know me son. They don't know me. We are about 10 hours in. Um, the sun's gonna be setting in 30 to 40 minutes but it looks like it's going behind some clouds now. So it might get dark pretty quick here. Looking pretty dusk. I'm dropping into Calcite Aid Station. I don't know how much further. Thought I'd be there already. So we'll see. Get there, I'm gonna take a break, get some water and food. And then from there, it's to Passate and Bonnevere. Um, gear up for the night. So I'm looking forward to it. 
I'm just leaving Bonnevere Aid Station. Um, left around 10.25. I was in at like 9.50. So half an hour there I ate. I changed my shoes, socks, um, dealt with some blisters. So now we're just on the climb to Heather. The stars are incredible. I'm uh, listening to the, some music, feeling decent. It's just a walk for this section, but we'll see how it goes. We're 14 hours in. Just stopped to look at the stars. Not a high right now, not super low either. Just kind of tired, past my bedtime. So my body's not used to this. It's 2 a.m. and we're nearly at Heather Trail. Not sure how much further, but feels like we gotta be there really soon. It's been a slow grind all the way up here. Feeling tired, but I don't know. Still moving. 4 a.m. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I'm tired. I wanna sleep at Nickerman. But we're moving. Got some music to pump me up. Not a super low. I'm just tired. Good morning. It is 5.30 in the morning and we're just seeing the sunrise now. Survived night one and we've got a nice reward. Pretty stunning. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to nap and nick him in still. Cause I'm tired. And then we'll see from there. It is 8 a.m., just almost 8.15 now. We're fighting sleep deprivation. I think I've got to get a coffee at the next aid station because I felt like I was falling asleep while I was running, <clears throat> which was a little dangerous. So I've got to manage that. I think I'll take a little break at Granger um, and then push to Hope Pass. We are 24 hours in. There were some lows, but kind of feeling better now. Just on this climb to Hope Pass. I'm guessing around four hours total to get there. Been walking for a while. Still got a ways to go. Hey guys, 26 hours in. Just super annoyed. Been climbing nonstop for the past few hours. No sign of this campground, which is where we start descending. It's like, where the heck is it? But, uh, should be soon. And I'm gonna get to Hope Pass. Take a break. We're tired, we're suffering, but I think I can leave Hope Pass. 28 hours in, let's go. Just left Hope Pass. Feeling good. I can do this. What is up, guys? We're just on the climb out of Nickerman Lake. 30 hours, 20 minutes in. Feeling pretty good, all things considered. Got some nice views and more views to look forward to at the top. So, Derek and I are just gonna keep tracking. <laughs> Get to this finish. Let's go. Quick update. Don't remember when I did the last one. It's been a slog. There was no food at Nickamin, no water at Heather. So I'm trying to hammer to Black Buff so I don't get too behind on my nutrition. Um, been seeing lots of fun hallucinations, like just in the nature, you look at the trees or stumps or rocks and I'll see like people or trains, or, um, artwork, I don't know, it's weird. I just double take, but yeah, anyway, that's fun. We just left Windy Joe's aid station. 
Spirits are high. There's beautiful meteor shower going on above me right now. It's pretty insane. Um, I go to Strawberry Flats and then one last leg till the finish. I'm gonna do this thing. I really cannot believe it. But yeah, job's not done. Good morning, guys. Made it to sunrise. We're gonna get this thing done. Heading down now to the finish line. Just 6K to go. Let's get it. Okay, guys. I don't know how or when I started running. Just crossed Rainbow Bridge. I'm uh, just going around the lake and towards the finish line. I literally don't know what happened. Like, mentally, it's, who knows? Um, kind of scary, like weird, because I literally don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, finish is in sight. I can't believe it. <laughs> Great work, Josh. Well done. Woo. Well done. Oh my God. <laughs> Good work, Josh. <laughs> Welcome here. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Good job, Josh. Well done. Oh, man. <laughs> Glad to see ya. I. I don't know what's going on. You do? <laughs> I don't, I was just running down the hill and I'm like, here's the lake. <laughs> I don't know how I got there. You want to come get a seat? Yeah. I'm, I've got a chair over here. I'm going to get you some food, okay? There we go, another runner in uh, with their pacer. There you go, man. Thank you. Amazing, that was number 77. Yeah, so that was number 77 coming across the line, rocking an oak awesome. uh, 100 kilometers. Louisa Trotter is from Abbotsford. Hey, thank you. They're right here, Josh. Joshua Caldwell from Parkville Equipment. Yeah, it is.